trigonometry. Solving this, we've got this equation between 0 and 360. Right, when sine and cos are singular, meaning non-linear, uh, non-quadratic, none of that stuff, and equals zero, we're just going to turn everything into tan. And we do that by dividing through by cos of theta minus 60. So we'll get 3 tan theta minus 60 is quattro, oh sorry, plus quattro is zero. Move the 4 over and divide by 3, we'll get tan is minus quattro over 3. Right, now we're going to do inverse tan on both sides. However, the first thing you should always be doing is modifying the range. That range is between 0 and 360 for theta. We're going to minus 60 from everywhere. I'm just going to write it down here. I would usually write it over on the right. So minusing 60 everywhere, you would get this. We're going to do everything based on this. So when I inverse tan minus 4 thirds, I get minus 53, which is actually in the range. That's my primary value. I'm going to store it. How do you work out the secondary value for tan? You do 180 plus the primary value. So 180 plus the answer. I get 126.869, etc. I'm going to store that as B so I can use it later on. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add in minus 360 to see if they fit within the modified range. Now, they're not. If you take A, this value, and you add 360, it gives you 306. It's too big. So these are only two values. We're just going to add 60 to both of them to get our final answer. So theta is 6.9 degrees. I'm just going to do one decimal place. Then I'm going to change it to B plus 360. Gives you 186.9 degrees. And that is that, mate. Sweet.